Okay. What other weird factoids do you know? Not specifically about barrels. Not, not barrel-related factoids. Yeah. What kind of hard f truth facts can you lay on me? I don't have any at the ready. It really takes... Oh, shit. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to just be it, at the it door. Really, it really takes a, a spur of the moment for me to remember these things. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is a big boy mission. Cool. Ron is texting me. Who will probably also be on this channel at some point. Better be. He's expecting me. He's gotta stop being a wage slave. He needs to stop being yeah a wage slave at GameStop. Fucking GameStop. Never work at GameStop, folks. Not that you needed any real incentive not to to not do that. Is this the name? How do you call him? Assassin? Yes, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra Pay no mind to me, sirs. I am totally this Duncan. Oh, that's what the bang is. He hasn't got it. <laughs> oh, man, it's high noon. High noon. Would I be correct in thinking you are dumb? I am indeed. Dead eyes red. Which Rogers? A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago. The Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Oh, quite. She called you... Devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke oh, my jealousy. Okay. Oh, actually, that makes a lot more sense Julia, than what I said. Barrel-related fact-checking. <sighs> Gotta cite your sources, man. Julien Ducasse. On this barrel knowledge, what you barrel know? maker. So the w pieces of wood are cut, you know, so that they fit together really tightly. Mm. Then they put pieces of reed in between the pieces. I have not come to what does that accomplish? <laughs> well, that just fills in any gaps. Oh, just to fill this. And then the liquids get sucked up by the reeds because they're a porous wood. That's that's. So then it creates a thinking. seal. Oh, it seals itself. When yeah, you, yeah. You've got my two best because the because the reeds are porous, so, them with care. so it sucks it up and it expands, my own son. further filling up any extra space. Oh, sweet, we can shoot now. <laughs> I want to walk beside a man who carried nine on his purse. Oh, we have two you guns? Have That's cool. <laughs> Dun Duncan, two guns. <laughs> McCree got Don't nothing on this. friend in England, you may like to meet you now. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique. I actually wish that he just high knew the targets. <laughs> it was just like, fuck you. Wait, is there another one? What other targets are there? I did it. What do you want from me? Oh, that was weird. Oh no, crap, I didn't see the other guy. You could challenge him to a shoot-off, I think. Oh no. But I, I didn't notice as I well, pressed the button for the Rubikri. I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Okay, that's definitely uh, 1800, well, uh, no, this is 1700s. Yeah. It's, it's, it's 1700s Cuban McCree. Totally is. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find Oh, now we actually have a hidden blade instead of just shank. <laughs> they are souvenirs. Now, now you can be just like, oh, gee, this is a real nice place you got here, mister. Shink. 
I think you can actually use the double arm blades as a weapon, like it's a selectable melee weapon. Oh, cool. So they're like faster, but they're a little shorter range. We put yeah. together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly uh, show you what I know. <laughs> yeah. I know how to swish, swish, stab. Have a go. A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose, just quick and clean. I just thought it was really weird that they had this, like, traitorous assassin course. Mm hmm. <laughs> Stab this guy. Do it. No, I don't think so. Darn. There was no prompt, so I'm assuming no. That would be funny. Dive, yeah. Yeah, show that dummy who's boss. <laughs> <laughs> Advantage of surprise cannot be and they all go. So, especially oh, here around the blind corner. God blind me, that's a clever <laughs> Why do they like deflate? <laughs> Your aerial kills are the poetic. Ooh, there's a treasure chest over here. Oh, I can't like run and climb, I don't think, right now. That sucks. Oh, now I can. Although I wonder if I leave, if they will not be super happy with me. <laughs> oh, uh -huh, you can't on. open. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's a little fighty. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, we can just do that. That's actually the nice thing about um, Syndicate is the distance at which you can run up things is it's like Spider-Man. Oh, excellent. So it's like super generous in terms of how far you can wall run before it just tells you no. Before you just fall off. Money. Must this please you, Master? Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Although I always thought it was weird that they had this sequence because in order to do any of those little side missions for bonus money, you had to have done all these things anyway. Oh. Uh -huh. Alright, now we can just follow McCree and Two Face. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time <gasps> to leave them behind. At great risk, I Get him! Get him! Oh, I can't take my gun out. Well, neither <laughs> is drinking liquor, but I don't shake your head at me. All the same. And what is your business? Oh, shoot here, the chickens. Are you an associate of the governor's or a pending Just because you have chickens like doesn't mean I like guns, chickens. Venados. They are food, that and they are delicious. Man. They are food they and friends. They are not friends. They are burb, sorts. and they are and not friend burb. These days, oh, Rogers. you just don't know. She, uh, they are yeah. they are livestock yeah, burb. I trust she's well, but I what do you guys know. actually do with your chickens anyway? Some We've got them some for eggs. Pirates. Oh, just for like a farm kind of thing. Yeah, and there, pets. Pets. In future, are they though? Yeah. Do chickens even have like personality? Yes. Really, Very honestly simply. and truly, one of one of the roosters we have is a complete and utter coward. And every time he tries to do something that he gets caught for, he has no sense of accountability, and he just runs away screaming. <laughs> like he'll feel really bold and try to mate with a hen, and then the main, like the alpha rooster, will kick him off, and he'll just immediately jump off before the alpha rooster gets to him. And he'll just scream just like, like a bitch. Buck, 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 away. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like, really quickly. Okay, that's kind of funny. Then we have one rooster who's really, really proud. Mm. And he doesn't know when to give up. Mm. Like, he's like, darn, you got me this time, but I'm still not done. So, like, he, he'll get his ass kicked up and down the yard by another rooster. Like, he goes for round two, or they just... He goes for down. round, like, seven or eight. <laughs> He's a trooper. 
there was one time he was fighting with one of his brothers, and... Well, look at that Energon cube. Oh. <laughs> it's an Energon goodie, man. It's a pleasure Come on. To meet you he must have another accord with Megatron for another shipment. Come, gentlemen. <laughs> we have much to discuss. What other chickens do cool things? Um, well, one fun thing to do is if chickens like you, they won't necessarily mind if you pick them up. We have a deck. Sometimes we'll just pick up chickens and just throw them off the deck to make them fly. <laughs> that sounds mean. It, it really isn't because they just glide back down Do to the ground. Do they just not care? Is it, oh, is it like Kukos in, yeah. in 3D Zelda's and you just glide? Yeah, like they flap and they, they do a little squawking. But the only thing that it really serves is to freak out all of the other chickens. Oh, they because they see a bird chicken. flapping. Oh, and So they, they all are triggered and they're like, they uh oh, we're going to die. A predator of some kind. Yeah. And it's hilarious. <laughs> that also sounds mean, but also funny. So it's fine. Freak out everybody, even the chickens, especially the chickens. We we have. Um, I assume they kind of short attention span and get over it real quick. Yeah, for the most. Once they realize there's no actual danger. And then we have a hen by the name of Sam, who's super greedy and super bitchy. She she hates all of the other hens. So if there's food, she will shove them out of the way and like peck them in the face to get them away from the food. And she's this tiny, cute little delicate hen. That's really funny. How do you even tell them apart? They're they're all different looking. They all kind of look the same last time I was over. But I'm also not a chickenologist, so. Well, there are some that do look very similar. All chain. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man. I mean, I don't think, that I don't think this is the place to be <laughs> showing what off the chickens. To have such a power. With, With this device, device the Autobots be... won't stand a chance <laughs> against the Templars. <laughs> Only justice, <laughs> pure justice, <laughs> and also Cybertron. For our own. Do we know its whereabouts? It's on the ark. They crash landed here. Just one that one man who does. A man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been forty-five years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? No, oh, I we forgot these. Teeth. These are so these cute when they were from. small and grumpy. Small grumpy chickens. What do we got? Indeed chickens. But Chicken Wait, Quest, send me this picture also. <laughs> that so, one. So that I can include context. Chicken Quest. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen. But yeah, we have a whole heap of chickens, and they're all different colors and different shades. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together. Oh yeah, that's what the the main quest is. They're looking for the observatory, which supposedly has the MacGuffin. Oh, I see. And then the Sage Roberts, I think, is uh, Bartholomew Roberts. Mission complete. Oh yeah, okay. His shooting challenge was just one of the the side objectives, but yeah, I had already pulled the trigger before I noticed what was going on. I think these guys super betray us, but I don't remember. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. <laughs> Did you hear that? Excelente. We will, will discuss our schemes, team. wink wink. Yeah, like, what kind of supervillain are you? Where you literally, you're like, Governor yes, Robert, our schemes. Your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. First thing in the morning, what do I do till then? Ooh, ooh, is a courier. Where's he at? Uh, map, where is it? Ooh, there he is. We go get him. You go get I'm gonna, him. I'm gonna try not to push him off the roof this time. <laughs> oh, you will. No, I got him. I just knocked him on his butt. Shing, shing. Uh, oh, we already have that one. Save the pirates. Where are the pirates? 
Oh, that's the pirate icon. I thought the... I thought that was a place for Eagle Vision. Oh. So I was like completely ignoring it. I didn't realize that was where the, the dudes who needed saving were. I like how they call you Captain even before you're like, you've got your ship yet. Hmm. Doggies. Pet the dog! Yeah! Yeah! Perhaps my next pet will be a dag. But a small dag. Small dag? Yeah. How small are we talking? Like a corgi. Okay. Yeah, you gotta make sure you exercise them really well, though, because they are prone to getting fat. Mmm. Because you don't want its legs and its belly touching the floor at the same yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe two cats. Oh, One two or the other. Two kitties. Ooh, what is that, Glowy? Get it! I want it. Is it a shanty? No. Go get it. I, why won't he climb? Okay, that was not. <laughs> that was not what you were supposed to do. How the hell do I. Can I climb here? Yes, we can. I think the the wenches were making the prompt very confused. Animus fragments. I don't know what those do. It's probably another collectible. You probably have to get like all of them for something to happen. Show me that fat bird. That is fat chicken. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward. Hello, Edward. Oh, you know what would be useful? It might be worth getting one because they're like super dirt cheap. But uh, just like a just like an Edward. iPad, just like a lower end oh, one, so we can look up like if we need to find a walkthrough or video from yeah, here. It's easier than walking over there. Snake. Yeah, that's a good point. That might be a good idea. Yeah. Well I think my uncle might be able to get some from work because he's still uh, we'll he's at Coffin, that IT place. Later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Okay, the gang's all here. All the warriors. A man both Templars and assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, Do you recognize this energy on cube? <laughs> oh, I forget the name of those things that were on. I forget if it was like a weird Transformers Perhaps spinoff or just something that people forgot about where they like France were robots that literally turned into humans. It was actually the basis for that one chick in like the second Transformers movie. Oh. Who was actually a robot. Oh, such that's weird. Yeah, it was really bad and creepy, I think. Really such a grand I'm sure someone more knowledgeable than me will know what that is. The observatory was a tool built by the precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race. I see. Every time they talk about precursors in this, it makes me think of Jack and Baxter. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think that's what you meant, but that's what you got. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way. A pity. But the much you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished. Aye. That's the idea. <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is wrong. Stay close, Grandmaster. Oh, I think you actually have to fight for them for a little bit to make them think you're with them. Oh. I, I, think, I think we get ambushed by pirates. Oh, I see. Assassins! Or yeah, assassins rather. Assassin pirates, whatever. Oh yeah, I think there's actually a big subplot. Like when you actually meet the assassins of the area, they're like, yeah, you kind of killed a whole bunch of our guys from the Templars. And it's like, um, <laughs> oops. You're not wrong, but still. <laughs> Well, what an asshole. I really love the dumb ragdoll physics. Alright, alright. Oh, 
Oh shit. Our dude bro is like dying. Really in trouble here, yeah. Even though there's only like one assassin left. <laughs> Death by shoulder tackle strikes again. Oh Jesus, there's a lot more goods. What is why are these guys on my dick? Oh shit. Wait, what happened? Think synchronized ally dead. I don't think the named dude died unless it didn't like that I accidentally tried to shank a uh a dude. Oh, I think I, I know what happened. I think there are assassins with guns on the roof. Oh. And so, that yeah, there totally are. I have to go deal with those guys. Oh, wonderful. Because I think they just shot the named dude a million times. I don't want none of this. <laughs> <laughs> just hunted them right off. Is that the only gun man? That might have actually been the only dude with a gun. Did we do it? Oh, it spawned like more gunmen. Okay. Oh. That's what happens. And I will shoot them. That was definitely a dick shot. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that was cool. He did like a... Like a kick the door down kind of kick as a running assassination. Excellent. Pictures that Brian had to see. Chicken pictures. Uh oh. Look at that chicken with a stupid hat. Oh, it's like a night helmet, like the flu. Yeah. Stop it! Oh, shit. You're a I'll get you. one, I'll give you that. Oh, he might wait. Oh, crap. Hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate. Did I just fail it immediately? Yes, I did. Ha uh ha. -huh. Sucks to be you. I didn't, like, even realize where he went, so by the time I noticed he had climbed, it was like, well, oh, whoops. Let's try that. At least the, in this one, the reload times on failure is, like, really fast. Well, that's good. For some reason, those were like one, I'll give you that. very slow on uh, the newer ones. Hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate. You. <laughs> Gotta hit the ground at some point. Hey, there he is. <laughs> I like how just like doing this makes them just give up. Like, him. whoa, you bad touched my well butt. Done. I want it. That's that's <laughs> mine. Sir. Bad bad booty touch. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm I'm done playing. No, no, really, I'm done playing. Let's go home. Yeah. Well, I'll stop. I, what an active day we yeah. give. <laughs> I need an adult. I don't I don't want to play anymore. We must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these wins. And that's a funny looking chicken. And this is a baby. Not a baby burb. Luck. 
I realize these bird pictures aren't going to translate well to people watching this, but well, trust us, chickens are cool. Sometimes. Sometimes. Except the ones that aren't. Which is a lot of them. Which is, which is many. But they make up for it by being delicious, so. Well, that's why I said they're friends and food. Mmm, the best but kind of friends, the ones you can eat. Many chicken noises. I thought we said this wasn't a bird show. <laughs> but oh. it totally is a bird show. <laughs> it, it is a bird show, at least for now. For now. Uh, so what have you been playing lately besides Overwatch? Enter the Gungeon. Did you get any further past where we kind of were before? Because I gave up on playing that game mostly. Uh, I got to the fourth stage, and then I think promptly I, got murdered yeah, by that, that a, sounds, a golden gelatin. That sounds about like my experience. Like, like I made it real far for about five seconds, and then got my ship lifted. Did so... you fight the the hidden boss, the other armor guy, the red dude? Oh yeah, I, I I've beaten him. He was he was pretty fun. I like that game, but it's it's frustrating, and I think you agreed with me on most of it. Yeah, I, I like Risk of Rain a lot more because it at least has an option. I have not played that one. Oh man, we gotta play that. There was another new game. I can't remember. It came out around the same time as Gungeon. That's like similar. But yeah, I don't know. Gungeon pisses me off a lot, and like I really want to like it because it's adorable looking. Yeah. Well, it's ha it's hard. It's intentionally hard. I because mm. it, it's it's more in the style of the old roguelikes. Yeah, I mean it's hard in a way that feels like it's not as in my control as I would like it to to be. To like, like I don't feel like I die because I'm not good enough. That's right, folks. We're on. We're we're playing the game, but we're talking about every other possible game. Yep. Because if you don't get a good gun before the first boss, depending on the boss, you could just God lose. Oh, yeah. Like, Gatling Gull is stupid. I mean, you can at least pin it around, like, if you get the arena with the, yeah, the boxy get, corners. Yeah, you can, if you like, get the box corners, you're fine. You can just kite it around. But there's open arenas there, yeah, there's for just, most of there's them. There's just open levels, and it's like, okay, I didn't get a good enough automatic weapon, so... Bullet King is not going to be great. Rip me, or... Well, there's a few, like, one-shot weapons that are really good. Like, the, the sling is a Did you ever killer. get that one I told you about where it's, like, a skeleton gun that shoots... Like, oh, the vertebrae K-47? Yeah, that thing is absolutely brutal. It's, like, the best gun, I think. It's one of them. I, I always save it for bosses because they get hit by all of it. Yeah. Or uh, hard enemies like the Iron Man's when they start getting more health. Privateer in the West Indies. I'll catch you up yeah. on it. Overwatch is a consuming a lot of my gaming you... time. I've been playing Race the Sun, too, but that's been out for a number of years. I don't know what that one is, actually. Oh, that one is... It's a pretty simple concept. You're a solar ship, and you're racing towards a setting sun. Oh, so quite literally. And you're avoiding obstacles, you're picking up points, you're getting things that allow your ship to jump. Shields so that if you crash... You get teleported up away as like to the top of the skybox, and then you keep going forward from there mm. as you slowly sink back down to earth. I don't understand how this tall grass actually hides me. Uh. <laughs> there is very clearly a man in those bushes. But yeah, I I'm kind of taking a poll here. Have you touched Hearthstone at all since Overwatch came out? No. Neither have I. Okay. I wanted to make sure I wasn't the only one. I gave up. I'm... I, I, I mentally checked out, like, week two of the Old Gods expansion. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I, I played Cthune okay. Druid for a little bit. That's a good deck. But, like, I didn't have the actual legendaries for it, so I just played a yeah, I had, like, weak bastard version of it. I had, like, all the dust in the world from, uh... Because I just melted a lot of 
garbage. Of like, well, all the rotated bad Nocturamus legendaries. Oh, yeah. So I had enough dust for like three legendaries, so I went with like Twin Imps and like some other stuff. Although I now regret not getting uh, Ragnaros Lightlord because Inzoth Paladin is like good, unbeatably good. Oh. And so that's part of how that deck just stands forever, so it would have been cool. Yeah, no, Overwatch is consuming a lot of my gaming time, much like Team Fortress 2 did for yeah, I haven't, six years. Yeah, I haven't even been playing much Street Fighter, just because, like, like, I feel like I'm really high, high on the Overwatch train until I have all the skins I want. And, like, I don't feel like I have all of the, the loot pieces I want yet, so there's still play to be had. But uh, with Ibuki and Balrog out this Friday, I You're gonna have to temporarily probably, drop the Overwatch. I, mean, I have a lot of matches to learn. I haven't played that much since, like, Guile came out either. Uh, Guile's real good, though, but he's hard, so I don't know. I was gonna show you how to play him, because I think he's like Guile. But he has some really insane, like, corner loops. That, normally that kind of thing would fall under impractical, but awesome. But they're actually just how he gets huge damage, so they're actually important. Oh, great. They look cool, but you can't avoid doing them. Oh, look at this convenient ramp. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid... Oh, hey, I should uh, jump. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to avoid buying new games right now, because I have so many unfinished games. Yeah. Because I, I didn't finish Transistor yet. I didn't even play Transistor. Should we get the PSN version and do it on the show? Yes. Like, it's fun. Like, it's visually stunning. The sound work and music is great, just like Bastion was. The story... I wonder if it's more replayable than... It is. Bastion was. Because, like... The, the difficulty... For, for Transistor, the difficulty goes up with each successive New Game Plus. So everything gets harder, but you get more stuff and your skills change even through playthroughs. Mm. Yeah, because uh, Bastion, there was a period Bastion where... offered like no replayability, really. My, my only issue with the game... Mm is most of the story, I'll say 90% of it, is reading. Which I'm not is opposed... Is there just lots of, like, character dialogue or, like, lore stuff in-game? Lore, lore stuff that's... Whoa, look at all these deadmans. Uh-oh. Uh, that I didn't... That's not your work, is it? No. Okay, good. It's like some Bloodborne shit. Well, the, the way that a lot of the story is unlocked is through using the skills that you un let you get throughout the game. Mm. So the more skills you use, the more of the skill you use, the more story you unlock. Like, backstory that leads up to the events of the game. Mm -hmm. What is your true name, Rogue? Because it's, a, it's set in a, like, computer, basically. Captain Pissoff! <laughs> that's, that's the story. It, it's in a computer. It's in the digital world. I had nothing to do with that. Not totally. It's more like a physical computer, but the people are digital. Are there Digimon? Oh. We had Steve Bloom do his Digimon voice. Excellent. Yes. We were just like casually referencing characters while we were talking to him, and he just go into that voice while he started talking. Oh, wonderful! Like Breeze asked him, like, "Do people ever give you shit for your Leron voice?" And then he started answering that question in the Leron voice. Oh, wonderful. And then he did Gilman as we left, and I was like, yeah! Man, Steve Bloom is so Steve cool. Steve Bloom is great, everyone. He is worth every autograph penny. I don't know why they didn't advertise him more at that convention. <laughs> that... I didn't know he was there until two days before display. I was at uh, the event. Man oh, man. He, he was even... He was the, the only... Of the the lead the character West in Bulletstorm. Yeah, he was. The, we'll the play best that. game ever. Because that game's sick. I've been meaning to buy that on Steam because it's so cheap. We now. should. We'll just play it. You play it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you want to do Bulletstorm next? Oh, hell yes. You can pilot, yeah. Yeah, no, um... Because they had him there because his recent ongoing appearance is like some one-off side character in like some new Star Wars thing. Oh, But it's okay. not... That's not why anyone was getting their autograph at all. And there I am, a man of quality. 
Anthony Kiki is the only one with a line. <laughs> really? I mean, some of them weren't there yet, but it's like some newer Power Rangers actors were there. They didn't have the dude who did, yeah, the Animaniacs, though. Yakko and Wacko. Last year with the cowboy hat. The, that guy was awesome. But, uh, yeah, it was just, like, Steve Bloom and then some people I didn't know. And I'm just, like... I, like, was poking around, like, every hour, and I saw the line there, and I'm, like... I go back to our booth, and I'm, like, guys, he's, I gotta take my break now. And, like, I grab Breeze on the way, and he grabs his scry and box set. Oh, no. <laughs> that behemoth. You hungry? Yeah, because he wrote on mine, uh, Big O, Showtime, and Roger, and then I'm reading things like, whatever, bullet, and then, like, sign the character's name, and then his name. Excellent. Like, this is great. What uh, a class act. Yeah, Steve Bloom's great, everyone.